Hi there, it's me, Marcel. Yes, that's what I look like down here in the bottom uh, right-hand corner. Actually, that's a picture of me that I created. All right, it's not even a picture of me. It's a picture that I created using something called Stable Diffusion. Now, in case you haven't been paying attention at all, you might be up on everything that's happening in AI art or a little bit of what's happening because this dude here, Jason Allen, uh, who lives in apparently Pueblo, Colorado, won an art uh, competition using art that he created using artificial intelligence in this case mid journey but we're not going to talk about mid journey no we're not what we're going to talk about is stable diffusion and because well first of all the stable diffusion is kind of available to everyone it's open source it's uh it's really cool it's kind of like the bleeding edge it's like getting dally 2 without having to beg and plead google to give you access or whoever it is that gives you access to Dally 2. But I digress. So what I did was I decided to create a, uh, I, I went in and you too can do this. You can go to huggingface.co slash spaces slash stability AI slash stable hyphen diffusion. And then you can go in there and you can create. And what I did here is I went a red cardinal sitting in a window, mounted bird feeder, bright colors in the style of Leonardo da Vinci, diffuse light 8K octane. These are all prompts that you can give to the AI to generate images for you. And it, after a few seconds or after a few minutes, depending on how big the queue is to try this out, um, I wound up with these four pictures of cardinals. And I think this is really, really cool. Now, if you don't want to wait in line and if you don't want to go to the website to do all these things, you can actually run it locally. And, oh, by the way, these prompts here, if you're curious to see what kinds of things prompts can generate for you, you can go to this site here, lexica.art, and Lexica has all sorts of neat things here, like all sorts of things that people generated, like for some strange reason, portrait of a gruff ranger. How about this one? Charlie's Theron is an evil witch in a black dress casting a green, oh, sorry, green lightning time warping d and fives. Oh, that's very cool. Anyway, see this here? These are the prompts. These are the prompts that you can give this stuff. And you'll see this, by the way, art by Art Gem and Greg Rutkowski. Greg Rutkowski is like kind of a god, apparently, in these, uh, you know, these generation things. But I digress. The point is, if you need some inspiration, if you want to see the sorts of things that you could be creating as well, you can go to lexica.art or lexica.art. A R T and uh, and in fact, if you want, you can go up here and you can say search for oh I don't know wizard. Let's say I just want to look for wizards and uh, you know get some inspiration on how I want to create some wizards like uh, this dude here. This is obviously the very best wizard nerd casting <laughs> a spell. Anyway, so you could download Stable Diffusion, which is effectively what you're downloading is the model, not Stable Diffusion itself. Or you can go over to this guy here. This is um, nmkd.itch.io. Itch.io is a site where indie developers create things and they put them up for sale. A lot of things are free now and so forth. Um, this is really, really cool. This is like a one-stop shop for installing Stable Diffusion on your PC. Now... You're going to need a PC that's got, if you take a look here, uh, let me see, what is it? It's, it's, uh, there we go, Windows 10, unfortunately, uh, you know, to my uh, to my freedom-loving friends out there and my Linux-loving friends out there, this doesn't run under Linux, although I kind of quasi have it running under Linux, but that's complicated. Windows 10, 11, 64-bit, recent NVIDIA GPU, preferably RTX. I have a GTU GTX 1660T on this Lenovo Legion 5 and I've got, well, disk space, obviously, uh, four gigabyte VRAM. I have uh, I have 16 gigabytes RAM on this thing, so it's, it's a fairly good, reasonably punchy thing. Anyway, this guy has created a cool tool. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, Noomcrad. Noomcrad. But you know what? Um, you can download it for free. It's not going to cost you anything. Uh, but, you know, the man is doing God's work here, making it possible for you to run this incredible AI engine on your PC. So, you know, uh, toss a coin to the Witcher here, will ya? And, uh, you know, support this dude. Or just download it. I mean, if you, know, if you want to try it out first and you don't want to see what it's like, you can just download it. But there you go. Anyway, so... Now, I downloaded the package into my E drive. Uh, I have an extra SSD drive. Um, is one of the little slimline guys, and the reason I got that is so that um, 
I've got space because my main one just doesn't have the room for that. So this is where I've moved it. And as you can see, you download a file, it's SD hyphen GUI. And of course the version number 1.3.1 .1, and it's got a 7Z extension that says 7Z is the zip format that it's been zipped in. Now you can use a program like 7-Zip like you've got here, or you know, if you feel like doing the command line stuff like I enjoy doing, you can do that as well. And in this case, 7-Z, and of course I'm using Ubuntu here. And uh, just to reiterate, um, just, whoops, <laughs> dash release, just so that you know. Um, just so that you know, this does not run on Ubuntu, so I'm actually running a Windows machine and I'm running Ubuntu on this thing as well. So here's what we're doing. Um, file again, SD GUI, and if you take a look at it, if I do a 7Z and I just do an L, just to give you an idea what this thing looks like before I actually extract it, uh, you'll notice that, um, Control-C, here we go, there are a heck of a lot of files and it extracts everything into this SD GUI 1.3.1 folder. So let's actually extract it, shall we? So 7Z, X, or like I said, if you want, you can go ahead and use the uh, in the Windows program. That works really well as well. I've always loved 7 Z. It's a great pro program. There we go. And now we're extracting this thing. And uh, this, uh, you know, as you can probably tell from what's happening here, is going to take a few minutes. So uh, we'll pause and then I'll come back when it's, when it's, it's all over. Go grab a coffee. Do something. Have some fun. Go outside. It's a beautiful day. Well, here anyway. Talk to you soon. And just like that, we're done. No, honestly, that took forever. <laughs> I think it took an hour to unpack this darn thing. All right, so the next step. So the thing is expanded. I have all my files. I'm ready to go. So what do I do next? Well, if you look in here, you'll see that there is now a folder called SD GUI. So let's go CD SD GUI. Yes, you can do this using Windows File Explorer if you like. And uh, you'll notice that there is a single .exe file there, stable diffusion GUI.exe. So what the heck, let's execute stable diffusion GUI.exe and watch the magic happen. Read this first. <clears throat> this software is still in development and may contain bugs. You must have a recent GTX 10 series or newer NVIDIA graphics card to use this. Maybe I should try a different voice. You need as much VRAM graphics card memory as possible. If you have less than 8 gigabytes, can <laughs> use this at your own risk? It might not work at all. <clears throat> Sorry, that doesn't really work. The resolution settings is very VRAM heavy. I do not recommend going above 512 by 512 unless you have 8 plus gig VRAM. Last but not least, this GUI includes tooltips, so if you're not sure what a button or other control does, hover over it with your cursor and an info message will pop up. Have fun. Okay. All right. So, no complete installation of the Stable Diffusion file was found. The GUI will now open the installer. Yes, even after all of this, there's more to do. I've done this before. I've still gone through the process. There we go. What do we need? We're still missing the Stable Diffusion 1.4 model file and the upscaler. So what I will do is I will go install and wait. You'll notice down here it says, see, see down at the bottom, like, you know, way, way down here. Can you see my mouse moving? Way down here it says downloading 1%. Now we wait again. If you're keeping track, it has been roughly, let me take a look at my watch here, uh, a lot. All right, okay, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes, let's call it at this point, from the time the file was downloaded to the time this whole thing was installed. You gotta remember, we're talking like about seven gigabytes of data and like thousands of files to make this magic happen. But trust me, it's gonna be worth it and you're gonna love it. There we go, we did it, we did it. Everything is done, the installer has finished it says finished, everything is installed. You can close the button on the side and now we are ready to make the magic happen. So let's... Okay, so we are going to end this where it began with my beautiful red cardinal sitting in a window bird feeder. Uh, and I did it in the style of Leonardo da Vinci. I don't know if that works, but uh, let's go Leonardo da Vinci. I don't know if that's going to help us at all. Vibrant colors, obviously. I mean, it's a red cardinal, right? So vibrant colors. 
hope oh, if I spell correctly, high definition, obviously, matte painting, and um, yeah, it's gonna be good enough. Let, let's uh, take it from there. Just before I hit return here, I just want to show you something. In the time that it took me to do this, we went from the, uh, <laughs> so it took me a couple of days to do this video, and at the beginning of it, I was working with the uh, Stable Division GUI 1.3.1, now we're at 1.4.0, which is just to let you know that the developer is on top of this and doing regular updates, so keep that in mind, it's well worth your time. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, you can see the type of card that I've got running here. And uh, one last thing, if you take a look, actually, I always keep saying that, one last thing, it's not one last thing, but anyway, amount of images to generate, you could have multiple images, I only want one at this moment, 50 steps, the more steps, the more detail, it just takes more time, it doesn't actually use more memory at this point. Resolution, on the other hand, does use more memory, so keep that in mind. Um, if there's a seed that you want to redo, but you want to redo it at a different resolution, just note the seed that you used the time before, it will tell you that when you generate it, and let's do it, let's generate all right, loading stable diffusion. Uh, so it's loading the model. Uh, it doesn't do it every time. It does it when you start from scratch, just so that you know that. So this part only happens uh, if you've shut down the uh, stable diffusion GUI and uh, you are restarting it. All right, so let's wait a few seconds. Actually, this usually takes two minutes to generate something. So. By the way, you can see where you are in the process. If you look at that blue line along the bottom there, it shows you that we're uh, about uh, three quarters of the way through. And there we are. And uh, I think we've got a few additional cardinals flying out the window there or something, but sitting in a bird feeder, I'm not sure what kind of food that is there, but there we go, window, bird feeder. And of course you can generate as many of these as you like. And the beauty about this, of course, is that you don't have to uh, get a membership somewhere, pay for it um, to do additional images. So there's no limit on how often you can do this. And of course, you're using the full model with no filters. So you can generate any kind of image that your little heart desires. And um, as you can see, two minutes, 14 seconds for this one on my PC. Now, mind you, I'm running recording software in the background as well. So that does tend to use up some of the juice in my PC, but I think this is where we're going to leave it. So, you know how this works. Like, subscribe, share it with other people if you know that's somebody else who can, you know, use this, take advantage of this, uh, have fun with this. And um, like I said, be sure to share it with other people and uh, we'll talk to you later. Now, let me see what should we make this time. Uh, oh, we'll come up with something. Anyway, bye.